right, what we're covering today is going to be on a stems list in the future. Sequences! And this one has terms, lots and lots of terms. So you may want to go ahead and pause the video at this time and write these all down. That way you make sure you get them all. Now sequences are nothing more than a pattern and you probably remember patterns from when you're in kindergarten. Square, circle, square, circle, next one's going to be a square, then a circle, and so on. So it's predictable. Or for something a little more complex, triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, and so on. But today we're just talking about numbers. That's what a sequence is, has only to do with numbers. It's going to be a set of numbers that follow a particular pattern. Now, in that pattern, you have terms, and any number in a sequence is a term. So, for instance, so for these numbers, number one will be the first term, as indicated by A1, two, the second term, and so on, all the way to the nth term. And there's an example of a sequence. There are two types of sequences we're going to cover. Here's the first one, arithmetic sequence. This has to do with adding. What you're doing is trying to find out the common difference between each term. This difference is going to be the same between the first and the second term, the second and third term, and so on. So for this specific example, three-fourths will be our common difference because it's the same difference between each term. Now if you want to find the nth term in an arithmetic sequence, there's an app for that. Actually there's not an app for that. There's a formula for that. But don't worry about it. You do not need to memorize the formula. However, you will need to use it for your homework or your classwork tomorrow. So pay attention. So, n, a of n, the n refers to the number of the term you want to find, and the d refers to the common difference. So, two things you need to know, what term you want to find, and the common difference. So, here I've plugged in the numbers where they go. First thing we do is subtract 1 from 8. We get 7 3 fourths. We need to multiply those two numbers together. That's going to be 21 fourths. Make a mixed number out of that and that'll be five and one-fourth. Then we just need to add one, and we get six and one-fourth for our answer. This brings us to our other type of sequence, geometric sequence. This is the common ratio between two terms. So what you have to multiply by to get from one term to the next. Here are two examples that show geometric sequence. The first one you have to multiply by negative 2, that's the common ratio, to get from one term to the next. And the second example you have to multiply by 1 half. Let's look at one final example of a sequence. 1, 1, 2, 6, 24. Is this an arithmetic sequence or a geometric sequence? Well, the answer is it's neither. You can have a sequence without it being arithmetic or geometric. 